Good afternoon, and welcome to Seniors Count. I'm your host, Greg Jocelyn. On our show, we believe that you are the foundation on which Boston was built. So our goal is to connect you to resources, benefits, and information to enhance your life. So thanks for joining us today. Today, we'd love to welcome the Center for Arabic Culture. And so stay with us to learn more about their programs and learn about some new recipes too, especially great for the winter. So thank you so much for coming and talking to us about the center. So I was wondering if you could just tell us a little bit more about your mission and what you're hoping to do. In the sure. Year, especially. Well, um, so my name's Sarah and thank I'm you, an intern at the center, um, which is a nonprofit organization. Um, and we are dedicated to supporting and celebrating Arabic culture. Um, through the arts, and we do that through a variety of educational programming. So our mission is really to work to big, build bridges between cultures and to um, really educate the, the population about um, Arabic culture. That's great. And so you're doing this through programming. Um, yeah. So you have, there's many things happening going on, especially I was on your website and was very impressed by the, the multiple programs that you have. So can you tell us a little bit more about Yeah, that? so there's a variety of arts and music activities that we have, literary um, showings as well as uh, music and uh, music classes. Uh, currently, our musicians are teaching the Aoud and the Tabla, which are um, instruments. And um, we are also proud to say that we're New England's very first Arab American choir that we have as That's well. Mm -hmm. And it's consistent, uh, consisted of uh, 20 students uh, right now, and it's growing, it's children. Um, and I'm actually a student at the center as well as an intern. I study intermediate Arabic. So wow. we have um, Arabic classes for adults as well as children and um, monthly cooking classes as well. That's great. That's great. And so um, coming up, I mean, so how can people participate in some of the programming? Julie, did you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah. yeah. So I'm Julie. I, like Sarah, I'm also a development intern for the CAC. And we do have a variety of programs and upcoming events. One of them, we traditionally have book readings and signings by authors who are very interested in the Arab world and would like to promote their own work or work for Arab American experiences and culture. And also on March 14th, under the direction of music, music, Musician. <laughs> Musician. Yes. <laughs> so sorry. Um, okay. Basim Saba um, and the New York um, Arabic Orchestra and the Boston Arabic Ensemble. They're holding a concert wow. at MIT. So we welcome That's everybody great. to join. Um, and more information will be up shortly on our website. It's www.cacboston.com. And also, we're having our Arabic Spring Fling coming up on April 24th. And that's basically a cultural experience consisting of dance programs and, mm -hmm. of course, delicious Arabic food that we'll be speaking of closely. Yeah, so I'm really excited to you start. We're going to do some, you know, cooking, not a full cooking class. So I think it's a good teaser to think about it. if people were interested in learning about how to make um, Arabic food. It's a good start, at least today. We're going to be showing some just small little dishes. Certainly. Um, so. Um, yeah, I hope that you know some. You'll get some new people interested in your program, and I want to thank you for coming. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back um, doing some some cooking. So, thank you again for watching Seniors Count on the Boston Neighborhood Network. We'll be right back. I think you have to do the little TLC, the old tender loving care, and uh, you know, go a little bit above and beyond. You know. It's very rewarding. It's, you're not going to get rich on this job. But at the end of the day, it's very nice to know that you uh, make a difference in a person's life, that there's no anxiety setting in, you know? Oh, I think he's uh, um, very much alive, and um, he's very cheerful and respectful and he's very careful how uh, when we get on and off every time i get up at five in the morning and i get my breakfast and get organized i say off into the shuttle to see the boys and the girls i love it I, I don't think I've ever had a day. I, I call it my lottery winnings without buying a ticket. 
Well, I've been I've been with the shuttle for like seven years, and from my experience, uh, we are unique just because of the relationships and the bonds uh, that are happening between our clients, our drivers, and our schedulers. Um, we try to keep drivers in the same areas of the city so that they develop relationships with their clients. And um, j- just from the stories I hear from my drivers, you know, uh, it, it, it's just an amazing experience, and a lot of them love their jobs because they're dealing with. Uh, very unique people in the city, seniors who have been and experienced so much that um, it's really a fulfilling uh, job for, mo- for you know for all of my drivers. Well, he's always there when you need him. <laughs> what can I say? I, I never had any problems. Never had any problems. I've been driving. I go to Jamaica Plain. He's quite a guy. I can tell you. Our application process is very simple. As a matter of fact, there is no application. To, to join our service, be a resident of the city of Boston and 60 years of age or older. And what you want to do is just give us a call and ask to speak with one of our schedulers. And our number is Welcome back to Seniors Count. We're here for the Center for Arabic Culture. We're learning about some culinary treats that uh-huh. we can do in our own kitchens. So what are we going to start with today? Uh, we're going to start with a dish called Muhammara. And okay. the name actually comes from color red. Wonderful. Because it uses a, a pepper paste. Mm, uh, which makes it, which makes it, what you smell like actually now is the cumin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. So what are we going to do? We're gonna, we okay. have the material ready. We're going to basically prepare okay. it in front of you. Okay, so great. So I'm just going to bring a bowl. Oh, hooray. And I'm actually going to put two pair of gloves because they're going to be oh, yes. some mixing. I'm going to use my hands. Okay. Would you like to begin? Sure. <laughs> so for a, put a pair of gloves. Okay, great. It's sort of like making it into an art project as well. Yes. So a lot of colors here. <laughs> All Beautiful. right, so what we're going to need, we need uh, walnuts. So okay. uh, the walnuts need to be chopped to be fine chopped. Okay. So we're going to take two cups of walnuts. Okay. So if you can pass me the cup. Awesome. So you're going to take two cups. Nice. That's one. And. That's two. And also we're going to need one cup of uh, breadcrumbs. Just uh, not the big ones, not the panko, just okay. the regular breadcrumbs. All right. Shall I hold them? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So one cup of the bread, breadcrumbs, you can put it right on. All right. And after that, we're going to need uh, a tablespoon of minced onion. So the onion needs to be like almost pureed. Okay. All right. So one tablespoon of onion. All right. And the last two ingredients actually are cumin and olive oil. Okay. And we forget about the paper paste. Oh, so. yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah nice. So we're going to do uh, one teaspoon of cumin. Okay. Spoon. <laughs> that's great. That smells. That's what smells. Yes, really, that, right? it's very. It's a very potent smell. It's delicious. It's so good. And it already. It's already mixing together with its mm-hmm. smells. It's wonderful. And then two tablespoon or a little bit more okay. of the pepper paste. Now, with the pepper paste, um, the pepper paste is made with red pepper. Some of them are hot, and some of them are mild. So this okay. dish actually comes from the northern. Uh, 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 city of Aleppo. Aleppo is the north of Syria. Mm-hmm. So they are very famous of this hot dish. It has okay. to be like, it's really spicy. Okay. So <laughs> you can go with like one pepper, two pepper, three peppers. So you use the uh, mild pepper paste and then you add as much as you want red pepper. Okay. So with the red pepper, uh, you have uh, probably a teaspoon of the red pepper and you soak it in water for like an hour and then you drain that water and you add it if you like it hotter. Okay. All right, more spicy. So we're going to do two 
tablespoon from the red pepper paste as a start. And I would like to say that these kind of ingredients you find in the Middle Eastern market. And I would like to say that uh, yeah. the event and this basically show was sponsored by Saab Market uh, in Norwood. And he basically provided us with the ingredients for the show. Thank so. you so much, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to have the street. Uh, so the uh, pepper paste. And after that, we need okay. the uh, extra virgin olive oil. That's going to be three quarter of a cup. Okay. So, yep, we can use that one. Awesome. Thank you very much. Would you like to hold it? Sure. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and so this is all you part of the classes that you teach at the center. Yes, right. it is. But this is just this is just a small taste because you do it, full it dishes. Is. Right? Yes, it's full dishes. Actually, the first two classes we did that was on the appetizers. The appetizers uh, okay. are called also maza okay. or uh, muqabbilat, mm -hmm. all right? So these are ready to prepare. Mm -hmm. uh, this dish especially is a vegan dish. Okay. So a lot of people who prefer dishes that doesn't contain meat uh, or even a dairy product, this is totally vegan, does not have any dairy product or meat. Great. Okay. So we're okay. gonna go, we're gonna dig in. Ready? Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, so you're gonna so, mix with your hands. Yes, okay. here, go ahead and mix here, it. Here, I'll move this so you can just do it in the, you can just do it in the center. More room for mixing. <laughs> oh, great. This okay. would be really fun for kids as well. <laughs> yeah, like absolutely. Get messy in the kitchen. <laughs> Who's gonna clean after that? True, <laughs> this is very true. Okay. And so what would you have this dish? Would you use like uh, a bread or like uh, This dish you definitely can use some pita bread to uh -huh. eat it with. And it's actually very good with kibbe. Oh, okay. Yep. So one of, uh, uh, I'm sure they heard of kibbe, it's like a meat. So yeah, that yeah. will serve like a side dish. Nice. Okay. Yes. So the color of the dish is supposed to be red. So if you see that it's still not red enough, I think it's perfect. Sarah, wow, you're a cook. Can we let's uh, I try. give a little little taste here so we can yeah okay so that's kind of the texture that you're looking for yes yeah, so it's color. it's basically if you run it through a pro processor so mm -hmm. an electric one it will be also like more pastier mm -hmm. but uh, you can you can just basically do it this way great all right perfect so, so what we're gonna do I'm gonna put it on a dish and decorate it with oh, okay and we're gonna decorate it with. Walnuts, so more walnuts. So you spread it on the dish as a paste. Mm. And then we're gonna use the walnuts to put on top. Okay. Yes, so if you could please, Sarah, open the uh, whole walnuts. It's a really pretty presentation, especially on the white plate. Mm -hmm. And just sprinkle it on? And no, actually we're going to decorate it by putting like one walnut like this in the middle mm. and then to the sides. And then so would you, um, you know, would you put pita bread on the side or would you like... No, the pita bread will be served in a basket. Okay. Like, okay. you know, right? So this, and one here, and we still need two, and it will be done. I'm gonna find some good ones. Awesome. Okay. okay, and the last one will be here, and that's the Muhammad. Very good job, <laughs> thank you thank so much. You. Thank you. We do also want to have a test though, right? Uh, sure. An actual taste test. All so right. Before, can we do that before we Yeah, absolutely. Up? So if you want to bring some uh, pita bread and uh, we have also some uh, uh, spoons and uh, forks. Okay. And if, Julie, if you wanted to do a taste test as well, uh, welcome. Here you go. All right. So can we have a spoon please? We can definitely use we can, that spoon. We can just use the, the Peter. Dig bread. in. We can we just just all right, <laughs> dig in. <laughs> all right, Greg. Perfect. Go right okay. ahead. Okay, let's see. Oh, yay, we have some. Thank you so much. That's great. Okay. 
So, mm, oh my gosh. Okay, so would I wrap it up or? Yeah, well, it's very famous in the uh, Middle East. Okay. Especially in Syria and Lebanon to use the pita bread as little pockets. Okay, yes, right. that's what I was gonna think. Okay, so all right, so. Try. Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Mm. It, it seems that I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's delicious. I just want to keep eating it. But we do have to wrap up. So thank you so much for coming. You are most All welcome. Of you. And I hope that you know some more people can take advantage of these wonderful classes where you can go to the next step and maybe prepare an entire meal. So that's, yes. that's wonderful. So thank you for joining us. We appreciate you um, tuning in to Boston Neighborhood Network. This is Seniors Count. And we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. What a wonderful world Yes, I think to myself